Okay. Yeah. So I love that you guys are like just. I mean, what's it like to be to not have a like a home, like a fixed home? somewhere <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, freedom is the first thing that comes to mind for me yeah. um, it's just a lot easier to wake up and not having I don't know I thought it would be like a, a thing that I needed to get used to and you know that people think it's super weird but that just from the day we decided to move out it yeah. was just so effortless and so easy and so much fun and i was so excited and uh, right. it's just very freeing it's just it's just good i don't know i don't know what else to say i noticed how adaptable we are apparently like when living in our home and planning this and you know living the life most people live i guess uh, I had my thoughts were consumed on X, Y, and Z, like um, stuff like uh, grocery store, and then how to set up, you know, get enough money to for next rent, mm. and uh, always keeping it clean at home, and you know, the habitual thinking has become very the habitual thinking i used to have in norway has become clear now that i don't have it and and i need to think about other stuff i need to think about where we're going uh, if we're going mm. anywhere and in general it's a way more laid back lifestyle than mm. people think because we we can literally do whatever we want mm. for how long we want and wherever we want so what happens is we instead of following this system of you know nine to five uh, Monday to Friday we follow our own guidance system and our own system and mm. like now we are here at the Viva event and apparently a lot of the participants and speakers are staying Mm -hmm. for a few days after so naturally we'll stay too like if we were to have a job and somewhere to be at a certain time we would have to do that you know and we adapt to that too mm -hmm. but in general it's just very nice to be your own boss in life mm -hmm. it's yeah. a huge difference huge. <laughs> it's like night and day yeah. to be honest like i didn't realize how stressed i was on a daily basis before like, I thought that was a part of just, you know, living. Having a job, well, you need to go to the gym and you need to work. And in the weekends, you need to meet all of your friends at the same time because you only have two days to hang out with them. <laughs> right. And you think that's, oh, that's... You try to pack everything in. Yeah, and, and it seems very normal and very, you know, okay. But now, coming out of that, I'm just like, whoa, that... I feel it in my body. I feel more clean in my thinking. It's just so much has dropped. Uh, that I didn't think was possible. I didn't know that I had it, so I didn't know I was able to drop it. Right. Uh, but now that I have, it's just so much more, yeah, and I'm just lighter. Right. I've dropped, the shoulders have dropped and I'm just lighter. Right, and it's funny, like you could listen to this and think like, okay, so I need to, uh, if I want to get my shoulders dropped, mm. I need to jump into a van and do what they're doing, but that's not it is just have happened to be a synchronicity thing that we mm. apparently uh, this feels right yeah and we didn't let our worrying uh, get the best of us i mm. guess and uh, the thing you said about uh, yeah you can feel it in mm. it, it feels healthy mm. to 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 let go i guess and, yeah and to be in line i feel like i'm in line with my inner drive like my, my inner force if you want to call it that it's yeah. just so incredible how because we kind of started letting go of the if we would have listened to our um, maybe we're not we don't have enough money maybe we shouldn't do it maybe, maybe we'll get we robbed need, yeah maybe we'll get maybe robbed uh, what about this the world that, is dangerous blah, blah, blah. if we would have listened to that <laughs> yeah, then yeah, we yeah. would probably be not be here today you know but we didn't right. so allowing ourselves to just um, 
not believing in the insecurity around this whole thing, yeah. that was the thing that allowed us to like see things more clearly and actually be able to do it, I think. Right. Just follow the path that we really, really wanted to be on yeah. instead of the one that just was the safest one. Which I guess boils down to seeing where our experience comes from, where our feelings come from that mm -hmm. we don't... We're just experiencing life force in the moment, whether we're here or there, mm -hmm. or whether it's this or that. And that's fine. And we'll have, we have insecurities here as well, mm -hmm. sometimes. It's definitely artificial the borders of mm. one thing is the country borders but no like the, the mind traps we have uh, or set on ourselves that we don't even necessarily notice from day to day mm. gets just like <laughs> they, you leave them mm. and all of a sudden you have a whole new set of thinking and then you realize oh i'm adapting all of these new thoughts and you kind of like it, i feel it helps to observe a little bit uh, what's going on, mm. uh, that highway of, of thoughts, you know? Yeah. Uh, so, also with the body, you know, like I feel healthy, strong, mm. I'm inspired to train, I'm inspired to speak, uh, just in general, yeah. That's a long answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh.